Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie for those of y'all that are new. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'd love if you would subscribe. So in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a mostly completed apartment tour. So we moved back at the tail end of July into this new apartment. And for the most part, I wanted to completely redo it and get a new sectional. Um, and just really give it a whole different vibe. So if you wanna see how I made our apartment look, I, I like to say it looks like a million bucks. Um, without having a million bucks, then just keep watching. So the way the living room came together is definitely my favorite part of the apartment. So I'll start with the couch. So when I first knew that we were gonna move and I really wanted to redo the whole vibe, I knew I should get the biggest things first and then just kind of decorate from there. So we got this couch and you can see it has that herringbone fabric so it's super comfortable. And then as far as pillows go, I wanted that, you know, the karate chop pillow thing where you can, it just looks super fluffy. And so this one is from Tuesday morning. That's a chain we have here that has just reasonably priced markdown name brands, um, a lot of name brands, but just some good brands at a reasonable price. And then this pillow actually came with the couch. It's not my favorite, but I do like how it kind of incorporates the darker vibe, um, like the lamp has right there. Uh, this pillow is from, where is this from? World Market. This one is an, it's, you can't really tell that much, but it's a kind of a dark green. And then you have this pillow that's the exact same one as the one over there. This is the blanket of dreams, the barefoot dreams blanket. If you are looking to splurge on something, I recommend it, I use it every night. Then, same pillows right here, and so it kind of made it just symmetrical, but still cozy. This is my newest addition. It is, there's a really coming in style, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, I wanna say pampas, but I got these in anthropology, Pro tip that I did not do, I saw these at Anthropology, and then I didn't have a vase to put them in and so I went to Home Goods right after to get this. Well, they have these exact same things for half the price that I paid at Tuesday at uh, Anthropology, so don't get them there. <laughs> these coasters are also from Anthropology. This um, coffee table is from World Market. We actually got it when my mom went a couple months back, and this was actually on clearance, so. What I want to do is get one of those puff things and put it underneath so that way you can have a extra spot if someone was coming over. Next is this lamp. So whenever I first ordered it and it got here, I thought it was going to be a little too short, but it actually looks perfect right next to the couch. So it has the black and gold detailing that really just ties in the gold from that dresser over there and then the black from the bar stools. So, um, oh, and also the mirror. This mirror is from Hobby Lobby. I got it a couple years back, but I, they're everywhere. I'll find some links for you guys below. Um, and then these pumpkins, I got at Trader Joe's, so find one at one near you. And then these blankets are just ones that we've accumulated throughout the years. Um, and then a basket that actually I think was from Ryan's mom's house. This is definitely my favorite corner of the whole apartment. So I got this little stand a couple years back at Ross and I've just had it sitting on the sides of my couches, etc. Then I ordered this plant and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be a lot taller than it was when it got here, but we made it work. Then another time I went to World Market and got this basket, wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with it, took the lid off of it and then stuck the plant in there and then put it on the stand and I think it looks really cute. This mirror I've gotten questions about, it's surprisingly from Amazon. So, and it's really nice because it has this um, stand in the back, and so if you can see that, and it, you know, I'm not fearful that it's gonna fall over or anything, which is nice, and then it just adds, it definitely makes the room look bigger. Then we have this antique piece that I actually got from my aunt's house, so it was originally red and my mom and I spray painted it gold a couple years back and it's luckily continued to go with the vibe of the apartments that I've had thus far. But so after we spray painted this gold, we just keep some miscellaneous thing in those um, cabinets right there. And then I just have, you know, my fall decor. So I got these flowers at Trader Joe's too. This cinnamon stick smells so good. And then these pumpkins are also Trader Joe's. This TV we've had, um, I do wanna get 
those things that cover up the cords and just kind of make it blend into the wall. So we'll get that soon. Lastly, in the living room is this rug. So I got this rug off of Wayfair and I love it because it has detailing and is unique, but still it can be considered neutral. And if I ever wanted to change out the pillows or anything like that, I definitely could without it being too difficult. So for this little section right here, we kind of made this my workspace. So I got this chair at World Market. I'll link it down below if it's still available. I'm pretty sure it will be, but it's leather. It's really cool. It actually kind of goes with our bar stools as well. Same vibe, game, same kind of seat. Um, but yeah, this is super comfortable. I'll do work here. And then I got this lamp. I actually had this lamp. I've had it for a few years. I got it, I think I got it at Ross. Um, and then I have the Alexa, a little candle. And this is kind of just my little tray that I just throw all my junk in. You can't really see it. And then I have my purse right there. Um, I, we had these cherry blossom things in our last place, but we had it in the kitchen. Um, and then I had this idea. I thought it would look really cool up there because I was kind of struggling at figuring out what I wanted to do up there. And then I have that candle and then that picture of us right there. We had that too. This is World Market and it has kind of like a cowhide vibe. Okay, so moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen was pretty easy because I already had bar stools and this bar cart over here, but I love the way it turned out. I don't think it looks too crowded, which I think is key, especially right now with the whole minimalist look going on. Um, I didn't want to overcrowd the counter space, so I'll let you guys. So funny story, I actually got these bar stools looking on Facebook Marketplace and this lady who was a hairdresser, maybe was moving locations or something, but she had them listed on there and I remember I couldn't go pick them up and so I had Ryan go pick them up for me, but they've held up well and have gone with the vibe really good, so. Then in, the, in here, um, I have my candle going, my Bath and Body Works candle with the scent leaves. If you haven't tried, I think you should. And then on the sink, um, I didn't know what I was gonna do with our dish cleaners. And I had this little pot that used to have a succulent in it and I was either gonna use it in my bathroom to put makeup brushes, but decided to use it for that so it just looks a little more organized. Next is this rug, which I love because I think it looks kind of expensive, but I think I got it for $20 from Tuesday morning. I need to look and see if Tuesday morning it has a website because I'm not sure if they do or if they're national, but just a tip if you have just those kind of smaller stores that you're not too thrilled when you see them, but honestly that probably means a lot of people aren't going in there to shop, so you should go and just see if you can find any diamonds in the rut. So next over here, I just have our Keurig, and then I got this at Target a while back and just holds all that stuff. Um, and then this will always bother me that this was rose gold and that's gold, but it's fine. Uh, salt and pepper shakers. And then I got this at Trader Joe's and y'all know I love me some Trader Joe's, but I'm not gonna lie, I cannot smell this for shit. So <laughs> don't get it if you see it there. And then uh, our toaster. Over here is our bar cart that I've had since I graduated. This was one of the first things I knew I wanted to have in like my big girl apartment. Um, so we just have all of our stuff on there, but it looks good right there and goes with all the gold. So moving on to our room, we haven't done as much as I want to do yet in here, but it is coming along nicely. So I've had this bedspread or we've had it for a few years, um, or a eh, year and a half, whatever. So then this blanket is my favorite. I got it from World Market and I've been using it for a couple years now. It just gives it a really nice touch. Um, and then as far as pillows go, these babies are amazing. They look so nice and like suede and I got them from Target. Buying all three of them was a little bit of a splurge on a weekday, but it just makes it look so good and symmetrical and you know, you love some good symmetrics on the bed. <laughs> I don't know. So then these two pillows, I have them turned around because there's a pattern on the back and they don't really go with the artwork above but for now they look good and then i have that pillow from target which is so cute so moving on to the nightstands i got these off of amazon they were so cheap but that was one thing i really wanted was matching nightstands i thought that was just kind of like a staple into adulthood you know matching nightstands and then i've had these thomas edison lights for a couple years now but it looks so good in here when the lights are off and you just have those two lights on and it just gives it such a cozy vibe. And then I do want to get some coffee table books or something to put underneath there just to jazz it up a little bit, but all with time. Um, and then same exact thing over here. So 
this painting I used to have in our kitchen at our old place, but I wanted something different to go above here, so I think that looks really nice. Lastly in here, this is my newest addition, and it's awesome. It's so cute, but low key, I got it to cover up these scratches from whenever we moved and Ryan and his friend were trying to get it up the stairs. But anyways, so me and my mom went to Hobby Lobby one day and found these flowers and just paired them together. My mom has such a good eye for that stuff and then found this vase as well. So it just looks really cute sitting over here. And then this dresser, this was actually Ryan's mom's and she was so sweet to give it to us, but it's a really nice piece that we like having in here and just hold all of our clothes. So moving on to my bathroom. This is one of my favorite things about this new place is that we have a guest room now with another bathroom. And so me and Ryan decided, let's just take our own bathrooms. And since I obviously have more clothes and like cosmetic stuff, he let me have the master bathroom. So I'll let you guys have a look. So when you walk in, there's just two sinks. There's a bathtub, and then there's also a shower, which is really nice. I'm gonna start taking more baths, but. So as far as over here, I have some bath salts, some fake flowers, a candle, this really cute. I've decided to use it as a decorative towel because white towels with self-tanner just never go well, so that's just gonna stay hanging there. Um, a scale, and then I have these two rugs that I got from Tuesday morning. Sorry y'all, <laughs> so much stuff from Tuesday morning. Um, and then on the counter space, I love this. So this is an antique that I've had for a long time. And I just keep my nice jewelry on here, my perfumes. And then, oh, nice Warren, awesome. Um, and then I have my sink right there that I use mostly. And then right here is where all of my makeup is and just skincare stuff that I use on the daily and then another sink. I got these two at World Market and they were actually in the kitchen section and they're used they're used usually for like flour and sugar. But I was like, I can use them in the bathroom. So oh, this is hard one handed. So I keep cotton swabs and uh, cotton pads in there. And then this one I've yet to put anything in there. So I don't know, I'll figure that out. And then up here, I just keep towels. And then these were decorative things that I had on the wall in the living room at our old place. But I decided to move them to the bathroom. Moving on to the closet. So open the doors, double doors. You can see I kept most of my clothes on this side. So that way I could have a spot for purses. And then this is still kind of a work in progress. But this was my old nightstand. And I've kind of just turned it into a little space to put headbands in those drawers, um, warm fuzzy socks I have in there because they take up a lot of room, and then I just have jewelry laid out right here, but I do want something different to organize my jewelry. Um, nothing really up here. And then my clothes over here. Um, as far as how I organize my clothes, I just do it by occasion, so workout clothes, winter clothes, going out tops for summer, skirts. And then over here is where I put all of my shoes. My laundry basket is so full. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Lastly is our guest room, but honestly there's not really much to see in there right now. We kind of just keep a lot of storage stuff in there. It's eventually we want to turn it into more of a guest room for when people come over and want to stay the night. Um, but as for right now, there's honestly really nothing to see. So let's start out with this hallway. This is right where our front door is. So this is the first thing you'd see when you walk in. Over here is just our laundry room. You can even call it a room. Uh, we just have like, which is where we keep a lot of clean stuff, sunscreen, rooms. Then we did hang these pictures up. This was a freaking process, getting you know, all these pictures hung and look evenly. So there's just pictures of Ron and I throughout the years. So then as you keep walking, and we do have this really nice built-in bookshelf right here. and. I'll take you guys through just all this stuff really quick, but just some books right here. This little guy is from Hobby Lobby, fake plant, vintage plate that I've had for a long time, a picture of all of us, um, succulents, that's from Hobby Lobby. Oh, that picture frame is from World Market if you're wondering. Going down here is this clock, also from World Market. That is Hobby Lobby, Virgin Mary, not sure where that's from. This guy down here is 
a character and he's from world market as well that play no clue and this plant is ikea and then lastly right down here that's a succulent that's from hobby lobby and then just some books okay you guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you would please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i'll see y'all next time